In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very unique and innovative intro slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added this blue gradient fill background. And when I click, you can see here from the top, the line started coming down. And then you can see the small, uh, the oval shapes also. It looks like kind of a fiber optic lights, something like this. And once this is done, the from the bottom, the text will appear. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as like and share my channel PowerPoint University. You can join my WhatsApp group with the help of this link. It is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to a dark blue gradient fill. Let me just show you what I did there. Right mouse click, go to format background. You can see here I have selected the type as radial and direction. You have to select from center. Then I have used one color here, which is the light color I have used. You can see here something like this, some light color. And then I have just used some dark shades of a blue you can see here something like this or whichever way you want if you want to change the color to some other color also is not a problem then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape just click the oval shape shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select the shape fill as white you can see here and then you can go to the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.1 is the height and 0.1 is the width so you can see here you end up getting something like this and if you want to make it a gradient fill also that also you can do so whichever way you feel better you can add it now i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select the line so i'm going to add as many lines as possible depending on the requirement and then for these lines also i'm going to give the gradient fill so let me just select the line and choose the gradient fill here by default there are four stops now what i'm going to do is on the bottom side i'm going to give some light blue color and then at the bot at the top side i'm going to give some uh, dark blue color so let me just select this the first stop and i'm going to give you can see here the aqua color and the direction i can just change to the bottom here something like this and i don't need four stops i want maybe only three stops so one stop i'm deleting so one stop i'm just going to make it some lighter blue like this and here i'm going to make some dark blue you can see here something like this so now once this is ready what you need to do is either you can make it somewhat up or you can just align it to the top press ctrl d to duplicate and hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here something like this and then if you see here this particular uh, oval shape i can just zoom in you can bring it here you can see here something like this you need to add it either you can add it now or you can add first all the lines of different sizes different shapes and then you can add this uh the oval shape so let me just select press ctrl d you can see here i can add like this again i want to increase the size for this you can see here Control D again hold the shift key reduce the size I'm going to add something like this so you need to add as many as possible to look beautiful so just press Control D and keep on adding the lines one by one you can see here let me just add this one increase the size by holding the shift key if you don't hold the shift key what happens here is the line will go it will not be a straight so that's the reason you need to hold the shift key so likewise you can see here i can just do it so it's uh, some kind of uh, a repetitive job you need to do it but uh, if you want the slide to come out good then you need to do it so let me just put it here Control d so you can see here so once you have done this one what i'm going to do is i can just select all of this press Control d you can see here like this also i can just add it all right so you can add keep on adding and again you can just increase the size some random sizes you can increase 
you can reduce it again i'm going to select this press ctrl d i'm going to add the other side and here ctrl d again bring it here it doesn't matter even if it is uh, overlapping each other doesn't matter so you can see here and if you want to give some different color also you can just give some different color also here maybe you can give some kind of a uh, this light blue color and here you can give maybe aqua color in the center and here you can give again light blue color so depending on your requirement you can uh, change it now once you have done all these things what i'm going to do is i'm just going to zoom in select the oval shape press ctrl d and start adding one by one like this on each line you can see here you have to spend some time there's no shortcut for this so i'm just going to do one by one you can see here press ctrl d keep on i'm adding one by one like this you can see here for each line i'm going to do like this so just okay so like this you can do it and just complete it uh, adding the oval shape for all the lines so you can see here i've added the oval shape for each and every line and then here at the bottom i'm going to add some text so you can just type your headline here so this is the intro slide you can use any text and then maybe i'm going to use maybe white font center align choose some good font maybe bold increase the size something like this okay you can see here and then if you want you can add some detailed text so now once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the animation just close this one here i'm going to select all the lines and the oval shapes everything then go to the animation add animation i'm going to say fly in okay can you see here fly in so it comes something like this let me just enable the animation pane and the effect option i want it from top so something like this it will come but it's coming all at the same time so what i'm going to do is you can see here except the first one i'm going to hold the shift control key and remove the first one then the other one all this once it's all selected right mouse click go to the effect options and here the timing i'm going to make it after previous okay sorry let me just select after previous and then here the duration i'm going to make it 0 0.05 maybe all right you can see here and then click ok so you can see here it comes starts come like this something like this all right see here something it comes like this and then what you can do is you can select the text and here i'm going to add animation any animation you can use i'm going to say stretch and again it should happen from the top and that should happen after previous so if i do a slideshow now when i click you can see here it started coming in very fast so if you want you can make it more faster than this or more slower than this so depending on your requirement you can choose it and then the headline comes so this is the simplest way you can make one intro slide and use it in your presentations